If you are a web developer or a business owner, then there are various times when you want to host your WordPress website locally on your computer. Maybe you want to test some functionality on your site or maybe you want to avoid a situation of messing up your live website on hosting server or maybe any other reason. But if you want to learn how to host a WordPress website locally on your computer, then this video is for you. My name is Ankit. Let's dive in. So let me just give you a quick idea about what is local hosting. Now, local hosting is often referred to as local development, which is the process of creating a web server on your computer itself. So basically, you recreate the environment that you get on your hosting server on your local computer, where you can build, experiment and test websites before making them live on a hosting server, which makes local hosting a great way to test your website design, functionality and performance without the need of live connection. So what are the requirements for creating this local server on your computer? Well, all you need is just a computer running either Windows, Linux or Mac. Then you need a web server software, which will help you create this localized hosting environment. And we also need a web browser to see our website and along with that we also need a stable internet connection to push our website onto the live hosting server from our local machine now there are four ways by which we can create this local server on our computer first option is by using a vamp server which will work for windows then we have option number two that is mamp which is an excellent choice for Mac users. And then we have local by Flywheel, which works great on both Windows and Mac. And if you are a customer of Flywheel or WP Engine, then this application is no brainer. This application allows you to create as many WordPress website on your local server as you wish. And once you are ready, you can push these local sites from your computer directly onto your Flywheel or WP Engine server. And the next option is by using application like Zamp. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. So let's see how we can download XAMPP application and use that to create a local environment on our computer. All right, so let's fire up our web browser and in the search box, let's type in XAMPP. And here is the first URL that is apachefriends.org. We need to click on this link and it will take us to the home page of XAMPP. And here we can see options for Windows, Linux and Mac setup. So right now I'm using Windows machine. So I'll be using the Windows setup. So in order to download this, we just need to click on this Windows icon and it's going to take a few seconds and the download should start automatically. And once the download is complete, we can see our setup file here in our download folder. So in order to start the installation process, let's click on this setup. And now we are on the first screen of installation. So we just need to click on next. And here it's going to show us all the components. So we don't have to change anything here and just need to click on next. And here it's showing us the path where the application is going to install. So once again, we are going to click on next. And here we can choose our language. So we'll keep it on English and then click on next. And now we are ready to unpack all the files and begin the installation. So let's click on next. So this is going to take a few seconds to finish up all the backend stuff. So let's wait for a few seconds. All right. So now the installation is done. We can now fire up the control panel of this application. So let's click on finish. And here we have the control panel of XAMPP. And here we can see various services which we can start and stop. So in order to create our hosting environment on this local machine, there are two mandatory services that we need to turn on from here. First is Apache. So let's click on start. And then we also need to turn on MySQL services. So let's click on start that as well. And whenever we are not using the services of this server, we can simply go ahead and stop any of them. So now we have successfully set up the web server software. It's time to install WordPress on our local machine and then connect that with our local server. So once again, we open up our web browser and search for download WordPress. And here is the first link that we need to click. And this will take us to the download page of WordPress.org because that's the open source version of WordPress, which we need to use, not the WordPress.com. So here on this page, we can see the latest version of WordPress. So let's click on download. And once again, it will start downloading and will be done in just a few seconds. And once the download is complete, we will get this zip file of WordPress setup. So let's go ahead and extract this. So we are going to extract all the files right here. 
And once we open up our extracted folder, these are all the files that we need to create our WordPress website. And now in order to create our WordPress website, we need to copy all these files and then paste them in a specific folder where we have installed XAMPP local server. So let me just go ahead and copy all these files. And here we will open up the XAMPP installation folder. So this is how the file structure of our XAMPP local server looks like. So don't get overwhelmed with this. We just need to open one specific folder here, which is htdocs. So let's open this. And here we again see a few files and this is the place where we need to paste our WordPress files. Now we are not going to paste them directly here. We first create a folder. So I'll click on add new folder and I'll name it as ET demo one. And this name will act as a URL slug for my website as well. I'll show you in a minute how it works. So let's open this folder and then paste all the WordPress files that we have just copied. All right, so now we have all the files here. Once again, whenever we need to create a new site, all we have to do is just go back to our htdocs folder and then create a new folder and paste the WordPress file inside it. And that will act as a fresh copy of WordPress setup. All right, so now the next step is to open the XAMPP control panel and access the PHP my admin so that we can create the database which is required for creating our WordPress website. So we open up our XAMPP control panel once again and we already have our MySQL service running. So let's click on admin from here and this will open up the PHP my admin in our web browser and here we need to create a new database. And in order to create a new database, we need to click on database from here. And from here, under the create database section, we will first enter the name of the database. Now, just to keep it simple, we are going to use the same name as we gave to our file folder here, etdemo1. So we are entering the same name for our database, but it's not mandatory. I just wanted to keep things simple. So once we enter the database name, let's click on create. And now our database is created here. All right, so now we have created our database and we have our WordPress files also copied here. Now, in order to connect our database with our file system, we need to open up a new tab here in our web browser. And now in the new tab, we are going to open up our WordPress website. So for this, we again need to type in HTTP colon two time forward slash then localhost. And after that, we need to type in the URL slug for our WordPress website which is our folder name that we have just created where we have copied our WordPress files. So in our case, it's etdemo1. So once we enter this URL, let's hit enter. And now we are at the step one of connecting this WordPress website with our database. So we'll keep the language as English. Let's click on continue. And then we just need to enter our database name, username, password and database host. So let's do that. So let's click on let's go. And here we have the database name. So here we are going to enter the same database name that we have used here, etdemo1. And then for the username, we are always going to enter it as root as we are using XAMPP server. And we need to leave the password as blank. And database host will always be localhost. And below that we have table prefix. So by default, it's going to take WP underscore as prefix on all the database tables. So if it is getting too much technical for you, you can leave it as it is, but make sure you enter the database name and the username correct here. Once we are done, we just need to click on submit. And here it shows that we have entered all the details correctly. So now we are ready to run the installation. So let's click on this button. And here we first need to type in the site title. So we can just give any random name here. We can change that later on from our WordPress backend. Here we need to enter the username which you want to use to log in in the WordPress backend. And for the security purpose, make sure you enter a strong username and password and make sure you save it somewhere safe. So here I'm just going to enter etdemo1 as a username and we'll leave the password as it is. And after that, we have an option for email. So we can enter our email address here. And below that, we have an option for search engine visibility. 
So we don't have to do anything here because right now we are just working on our local server. So it's anyway not going to work. Now before we move ahead and click on install WordPress, just a quick reminder, make sure you have copied your username and password in a safe place. And once we are done, we just need to click on install WordPress. And it's going to take a few seconds and here we can see the installation is already done and we can now click on login to visit the wordpress admin login page and here we just enter our username and password that we have just entered and then click on login and boom here we are in the back end of our wordpress setup so we can do anything from here we can install a new theme install a new plugin or anything that you can do on a live hosting server you can now do that on your local machine. So this is how we can set up WordPress on our local machine using a local server software. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and make sure you check out the video description below for all the relevant links that we have used in this video. And make sure you share this video with someone who wish to create a WordPress setup in their local machine. And for more WordPress videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.